Hello, everybody. Welcome once to <laughs> Varsity Basketball Season Number One. I'll tell you. Yeah, well, game number one of, of our season number four, but I don't know how many seasons they've had. <laughs> <Quite Yeah. a laughs> few. But uh, we're getting excited. We're going to get ready for the national anthem. Yeah, and here. all that kind of stuff. Are yep. we going to tape all that, too? Oh, yeah, we do all this yeah. kind of good stuff. We're people. Well, JV had a tough time. They had a real tough, uh, tough uh, third quarter, but um, they uh, stayed uh, even pretty much for a little while. Two, so. Yeah, but what they blew about ten. That then I think it was. Yep, something like that. So uh, we're going to have this uh, beginning of this new season. <laughs> I don't think the Lakeville coach realizes everybody's hooking up for national anthem here. He's not, he's not ready yet, huh? Well, they're going to figure it out. About <laughs> 11 more seconds, we're going to do it. Anyway, we have our, our crew here. Dan Swice is our director. Elgin, my man, the number two. Camera one is Russell Dubois over there. And, of course, my man, Rod Wright. The, the voice of basketball for number four years. I think it's four years I think now. We're yeah, I think Are we getting so. old? No, I know I am. I know. I'm Social Security number four. Yeah, so is that your social security that, number? That's four? right. Okay. That's how that's how old I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyhow, <clears throat> we look forward to our, our varsity girls this year. Three of our big big stars went to college, all scholarships. Yeah, we got three gals that are doing well in college, and we're getting ready for. Yep. To pay our respects with our national anthem. As soon as they get the machine out, she's running for it right now to get the amplifier on. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Have to get that going up there. Yeah. Now they're ready. Up. Oh. We got the great announcers we always have with the two Tootsie Rolls ready to go.
Holy cow, we did look, Abigail is a senior. I know, we've been watching her. Uh, <laughs> from from freshman, freshman, we saw her going yep. up. Oh my yeah. goodness. Up to JV, and now, now one of the big girls on yeah. varsity. Madeline Morris, one of our big girls. We like her softball and basketball, everything. She's a good girl. Well, I'll tell you what, last year we had a, 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 a fantastic basketball team. We graduated three gals. Three scholarship girls. But yep. the, the, the bad part is uh, we moved up in the league. Yeah. It's going to be a rough season. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one, yes. But I'll tell you what, you are going to see, this is my prediction, you're going to see what a good coach Emmerich is. It's going to be tough at first, but he is, gonna, he is going to turn these girls yep. into a basketball team. I mean, not that they're bad. Yep. But we had a few girls not go out, and well, they're going to miss out because Emmerich is one yep. heck of a coach. Uh, Lakeland hit a first shot, had a three hitter. Bam. Right off the bat, yes. Right off the bat, yep. A lot of game left. A lot of game left. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Ah, uh, they got you. Oh, is that for Moni okay. Evans Monet. foul? Yep. yep. That is her the first foul. I, and you know, and that's another thing too, is that we have some tenth gators on this team. Olivia Clark, Caitlin Bean, Lilia Hayden, and Darian Graves. Only and that's what's good about going to a small school like Oxford. Yep. The only girls can play this caliber. Yep, only two early. seniors. The Abigail yeah. and uh, Caitlin. Yeah, and that's one of them right now, Caitlin Wright. There's Abigail Bukevich. That's your girl, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> She's always a Bill scrapper. Bill scrapper. loves Abigail. Cleveland with that rebound. That pass in, I mean. <coughs> Madeline Morris not playing the position that is her. She's, she's going to be at guard. Here we go up. Four Got it. Three. That's my girl. And she Where answers Madeline? it. This is what I'm talking about. This is uh, this is Emirate fashion right here. He's very patient with the ball. He wants the girls to select those shots. What uh, and key on defense. Uh, Madeline last year was JV. Moved her up to varsity. And first thing she did, walked the door. Bam! Got a three hit. Here we go. Three point. Got another one. Wow. Kind of a and shooter that game one going. We'll go in. 7 3 Lakeland. Morris coming down with the ball. Get to Monet. So you got Monet Evans. Madeline Morris at guard. Grace Cleland down below. Whoop. That's Caitlin Wright and Abigail Vukevich. Vukevich going yeah. to the hole. Oh, my God, oh, Abigail. There we go. Seven to five, Lakeland. Like I said, Morris, this is not her position, but she's going to have to play it. They need her there. I'm going to get that ball. Get the ball, girl. That's that right. Go. Also, let me let, let, let you know about Caitlin Wright. Caitlin Wright is one of the few three-sport athletes that we have. I believe she plays tennis and soccer as well. Oh, wow. And she plays basketball. Uh, I'm trying to think. Did she, she, she's played volleyball. And this girl's done so many different sports. She's a good athlete. And I think she's doing the high school thing. She's playing three sports, staying busy. It's a big deal if a kid plays two sports. But three sports, you don't see that much anymore. Olivia Clark. Getting into right. <laughs> My Madeline, she's definitely in charge. Yep, yep, she is. That is a sports family, the Morrises. There's a the coach talking Clark, to Clark, going to kick it out. Morris. Yeah. 
she will draw that foul. I tell you, next year this team will be. You watch this team oh, yeah. will be better. We'll we got Darian Grace, who's in tenth grade playing varsity ball. She's going to learn a lot. She gets to be with Coach Emmert for three years. Whoa, that's Abigail. To Clark. Trying to get Whoop. it into Morris. Ah. Out, and they're going to give it to, to Lakeland. Yeah. Lakeland on that one. Seven to five, Lakeland. Four minutes and 23 seconds to go. First period. Goes the blue. Now Dinges, you remember Dinges, she's off yes. with an ACL. That's why she's not out for the team. So she will she's uh she's nursing that and hoping she gets back by softball season. Here Monet Evans down with the rebound, getting it right off to Morrison. Morrison. I remember Monet from last year. And a new gal, I gotta get her. 22? This is Ashley. Ashley Hirschman. She's the new one. She's a freshman. Oh, how whoa. about that? There you go. How about that? We'll take it. I have not seen a freshman. Oh, that was a good move. Hook. Abigail just missing. I haven't seen <laughs> a freshman play on varsity here at Oxford since no. Murph. We did what the men, the boys had one, but he moved to Chicago. And they're going to turn that over with the travel. No, I think the last girls was uh, Bannis and Murph. That I, I, I think so. As far yeah. as I can remember. So this uh, Ashley Hirschman. Up, Oxford timeout. Getting into the game already. How about that? Uh, Mr. Ermert, he went to talk to him a little bit. He was chatting earlier, <laughs> coaching as they were. Seven to five, Lakeland. Three minutes and 28 seconds to go in the first period. So far, so good. Steve has definitely shaken it up. He's got quite a few different girls out here already. Yep. Seven, five. Now, there the way the OAA works, and I'm, most of you probably know, but if you have a good season, you win you, you win your division and stuff, you usually move up. Yeah. And there's a ton of teams in it, and and we moved up. We were so good last year. Oh, yeah. We had a big old party at the yep. 24th Street uh, a restaurant. Yep. Had, with all had the co kids and all the coaches. And Rod and me were here there. Yeah, that was My fun. We director got, Dan was there. We even got Sherilyn Bannis to do some interviews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was pretty fun. It was. Look out. Look well, at Abigail, Abigail get coming up for with you. that. And that's the gutsiness of Abigail. Here we go to Evans. Up Evans driving around yeah. up front. Oh, He's going to draw strike. the foul. What? Oh, I thought he said jump ball. I said, no, no, no. No. Nope. Oh, you, you thought they called her charging? <laughs> well, no. yeah. No, I thought he was talking to... Back to Bannis. I just found out Bannis' team is ranked 25, 25th in the country. What? For their, yeah. They're undefeated right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The Lawrence Tech. Lawrence Tech's kicking everybody. Okay, this is a basketball city. Well, we remember that girl. We watched her go up. It's just going to be a great, great point guard. <laughs> Not getting anything to fall on that one. Just the <laughs> one. Now, here we come. One point lead, seven to six. Come the Lady Cats. Whoop, lost it uh -oh. there. Lost it all. <coughs> Coach is not happy with that. Evans up for the shot. That's all right, we'll get it. 
Jordan Zinger coming in. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Boy, a lot of these girls, we've actually seen them, a lot of them play rec ball, softball. Yeah. That's how long we've been around. Right. Now, here we go. Bukovic. Abigail going. Look out. She's going to wait for a little help. Madeline Morris for the long three. No good. I'm going to look for Steve to Traveling. probably slow this game down a little bit. Yeah. Seem to be playing Lakeland ball right now. Okay. You watch, he'll Money's, settle it down. Money's taking a bench. Take a little break. Cleland back in the game, along with Jordan Zinger. There you go. <clears throat> Still nine to six, Lakeland. A minute thirty-eight to go in the first period. Grace Cleveland. I went to college with her dad. I think I ah, told you that last you year. Yeah, her dad was collegiate swimmer. Short, good one. short. Real good. It's back on Oakland University was a dominant in swimming back in nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Abigail, Oop, cross Bob. net, Cleveland getting a piece of it. Jump Should ball. Should be a jump. It was Oxford's ball. Good hustle, Cleveland. So you were in Oakland University. You were a uh, baseball dude, weren't you? Yeah, I tried to be. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I tried to be. It was... Uh, How about that? Cleveland getting a hand in that. We're going to get that anyhow. There's oh! Caitlin Wright. There we go. Way to go. Caitlin. Caitlin Wright got that one. Yeah, that's my girl. That's our seniors. One point to lead, 9-8 to eight with 49 seconds to go. We're not related, but don't tell anybody that. We won't do that, no. <laughs> I want people to think we're related. There uh, you go. <laughs> And the first period, pretty quick, 9 to 8, 43 seconds to go. It's a good game going so far. Yes, I'm impressed so far. Rattle in and out. Cleveland got a little piece of that. Yep, gave it to Lick uh, Lickland. <coughs> Way short. <laughs> Jump ball. <laughs> Go to Lakeland you know when again. it's a wrestle for the ball, you know Zinger's coming back up with it. You know <laughs> that, right? You bet. She's about as tough as you can get. Whoa, almost oh. had it. Morris going for the steal. Cleveland with a nice looking rebound. Time out, Oxford. Good very, job, coach. That's good coaching right there. Right there. Right very there. good. Very good. Before he got that jump ball, because that would have been a Lakeland possession. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Nine to eight. 19 seconds to go in the first period. I mean, Dan's wife's the director. Elgin, camera two. Russell, number one. And the third camera's just got a, it's got a video for us, but nobody to work it. They're doing a pretty good job, though, aren't they? They're doing fantastic. That's what Dan said. He's got it. I know Steve would want me to mention Rachel Breyer as, as an assistant coach. She's, she has been with him, I don't know how long now, quite a while. Yes. And of course, uh, Trevor Marshall's also there on the bench. Mm -hmm. She's also the JV coach. And that's why this... Freshman JV varsity is all a part of the program. Yep. Good Abigail, get a girl. And get a foul. Good. Fouled. <coughs> good girl. 
Two shots. I can tell right now this is going to be a scrappy team. With I that. like this. Yep. yep. Abigail. Abby. Tied game, 9-9. Nine nine. Lost it, but still tied, 9-9. Nine nine. White ball, good. We'll take it with five, four point second sevens to go. Oh, I'm sorry. That would be Lakeland's ball, my bad. Yeah. We're going to get a foul for number 32. That would be Madeline Morris. Got to watch those fouls, kiddo. We need you out there. And there's a travel. Ooh, traveling with 2.9 seconds to go. For the first period, that'd be a We're shoot. tied at nine, Bill. Huh? We're tied at nine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and shoot. Oh, short, oh, Abigail. Oh, two shots, missed it. I'll tell you, that was a good rebound. Uh, yeah. Cleveland <laughs> kicking that out to uh, Morris for that attempt there. So, hey, at the end of uh, first One quarter, period. Nine, nine. The nine to nine, there you go. I said period again. Yep. Darn that hockey. Why does it got to be different? <laughs> what do they do to hockey? Well, there are periods. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do miss that, don't we? It's okay. I call them quarters when I'm at hockey, too. Yeah. I messed up on the, on the volleyball, too. Same thing. I messed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's how tell We had a good season. Oh, volleyball. they were good. They were really good. We covered those volleyball games. Those were fun games. <laughs> <laughs> and we did uh, we did soccer. Soccer did well this year. Yep, lacrosse. Yep. <clears throat> and I was impressed with the way the football season ended. They did all right. Yeah, they it's a bunch okay. of young kids. They were just a little bit of guys. Not little, a little bit, I mean, but they were young people. They had a lot of juniors. I'll Lost a bunch of seniors. Coach, coach ended up on a high note. And yeah, I remember that Romeo game. We watched that Romeo game. I said, this team's good. And we were in there most of the game. That team went on to win state. Yep. So, and that's the thing with the OAA. These are the teams that are in contention for state. So the teams that, we, that we'll be facing could be good contenders for the state. Yep. So. Madeline Morris. Ooh, Look out, that one little there. Days, a little on the pass. And. Abby. Oh, good. Abigail. Blocked it. Whoa. And that is a gal staying with <laughs> the person she should be covering. I almost said man. <laughs> gotta watch that. You be careful there. I gotta watch that. Madeline, get it. Like you said, just two seniors on this team. Yep, that's right. It's Abigail and Caitlin. <coughs> There's a long and two. And Cleland with another rebound. Hey, what, Grace is really, she was looking really good on JV last year on the boards. Pulling down big numbers on the boards. Here we go, Abigail going to the net. There Got you it. go. it. Lady Cats, 11 to 9. There's only one senior at the uh, Lakeland team. There's that trap. There's that Emmer trap. Traveling. Yeah. There we go. And we saw Murph and Bannis pull that off so many times through the years. You bet. Can somebody help? Give her help. There you go. Morris up for three. Oh, man. It's her second one she's got. <laughs> Madeline, my girl. 14 to 9, Lady Cats. 
That is her second three of the night for six total points for Mercury Morris. <laughs> Mercury Morris. <laughs> we'll have to remember that. No, yeah. Who was the football guy? Mercury Morris. That, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> that was his actual name. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Played for the Dolphins. Six, six minutes and 50 seconds to go. Huh? Yeah, we're okay. What? <laughs> huh? He's, he's there. Are we okay? <laughs> That's the announcer. Yeah. The Tootsie guy from here, the announcer down there. <laughs> we'll tell you if you give us a Tootsie roll. <laughs> <laughs> we're messing with the house. Now. He's what a great a announcer. He's good. I hate him. I yeah, hate no. him. I hate that voice. He's got a big voice for I sure. I want that voice. <laughs> He wants to make sure we're doing okay. I th we feel like feel like we're sucking helium up here when when we listen to his voice. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen to nine, Lady Cats. I like it so far. Yes, I do. Six fifty left here in the second quarter. I did it right, Bill. Here you go. Almost had Abby, Abigail. Almost got a piece of that. Uh oh. Uh, Mercury got him. Yeah, that'll be her second foul. And Steve doesn't want that, and that's his. He needs her in the game. Slapped his hands in frustration on that call. It's like I told her to get her. Go long, Woo. two. And Abigail got the rebound, good Abigail girl. Abigail with the rebound. I mean, Abby and uh, Cleland, they're doing really good on the boards there. Mm -hmm. Caitlin right back in the game with Monet Evans. She was, look oh, at that give that. and go. Oh, oh. No, no, that is a team. Boom. That was a team. Nice pass. Nicely From done. Abby. Good the rebound. Way to go. Down with the rebound here. 16 to 9. Lady Cats. Keep it going, girls. They got Easy. control right now. They're gaining the confidence. You can feel it right now. A little jitters in that first quarter. Yeah, right. Look Another at this one. to Abby. Oh, Whoa. yes. Oh, yes. You gave me one. I'm going to give you one, Abby. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> 19. Or, oh, so 18 9. 18 to 11. Five minutes and 14 seconds to go to the second period. And this team's a runner so far. They're moving the ball. Yes, they are. Yeah. We did last year. We had the speed last year. Look at that pass oh, in nice the right. Oh, nice move there. Uh-oh, traveling there. Yeah, Monet's a little excited there. Yep. And Monet with a double dribble. She's going to come in, and they're going to put... Jordan's coming in. She's a humdinger, that zinger. She's in there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Her mother told me to say that. Oh, did she? Yeah. <laughs> She has been very, very influential in her daughter's sports career. She is at every game. Short. Working Let concessions, go. driving her back and forth, like most of the parents of these girls. And that's why these girls are good ball players. There you go. They got good support. Good folks. Though Caitlin Wright's parents, how do they deal with where she's going? Three different teams. <laughs> yeah. She probably plays a summer sport, too. <laughs> Abigail. Abigail, whoop, whoop. Somebody got a foul over here. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, well, they're going to get Jordan gonna... Singer. She got a foul. A little shoving, I guess. <laughs> a little traveling and that'll be a turnover that was a double dribble that one
<laughs> Man, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do? Shoot he, the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Into Abby, a little hot on the pass. Uh, my goodness. Grace Cleland was trying to get Bukevich cutting in. Good job, we'll Madeline take it. Morris. Good job, man. <laughs> See what she did? She realized she didn't have a shot for the ball. It could have went out, so she blocked Step the other back. girl out. Yep. Very nice. That's good basketball, Madeline. A younger player would have gone for the ball. Or a less seasoned player. Caitlin Wright kicking it out to the point to Bukevich. Out to Morris. Up, oh, they thought about it. Go, oh, and there we go. You can't drag that foot, little girl. Nope. As they say, that was Jordan. Steve Goats <laughs> reaches into his pile and grabs another one. Yep. That comes Here's Ashley Hirschman, just coming in. Three minutes and eight seconds to go. 18 to 11, Lady Cats. I tell you what, Steve's tough, but you know what? You got to respect him. He, he knows this game. Oh, He's going to make these girls and this team good. All right, Monet Evans reaching in and cutting off that pass. Oh, a Hirschman can move the ball, huh? That's our little freshman girls going again. Yeah, to get. all right. She's pretty quick. I like it. <laughs> out to Bukevich to Hirschman. Out to right. She thought she's about it. Shoot. Ooh, on the rim. Blocking out. Caitlin Get her own Wright rebound. Down in the and it'll be a jump. A jump ball. That was a good shot. Rebounded herself. That's excellent. Excellent. Olivia Clark is going to come in for uh, Caitlin Wright. It goes Abby. Got and it. She pulls it. Oh, no. no. Charging. Going to get a charge on that one. Yep. That's a bummer. Steve is not. Well, she's a little confused herself. Oh, our coach is talking about that a little bit. Don't blame him. Yeah, Steve didn't like that call. That's Madeline. okay, because more. Oh! oh! <laughs> I know what she wanted to do. Yeah, I know. Looking for some help. Girl cut to the net. And drag that pivot foot. 18-11, Oxford. Minute 50 to go for the half. Go three-point attempt. Whoa, and that's a big three it. win. 18-14, Lady Cats. Minute 40 to go. Bukevich, Clark, Hirschman, Morris, and Evans out there right now. How fast I know them girls, huh? Yeah, we're getting quick, yeah. aren't we? Jeez. I'm impressed <laughs> with myself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I've been watching them for four years. <laughs> Get out a minute ten to go. There's Clark. Abigail oh, way for short, three. Way short. That's to a rebound. Monet Evans. Got in. It. In you got it. it. And it's in. We'll take it. 20 to 14, a minute and seven to go until the half. Lady Cats. 2014. It was tied at nine at the end of the first quarter. Yep. All Let's right. See if Evans can. And she makes it a three point Michael play. Money. Grace is back in. And the freshman's on the bench again. Mm -hmm. 
Kevich Evans. Clark, oh, look wow. out. Whoa, missed one there. Found herself open. Here we go up for the shot. That's going to be off. And down in the thick of it. <laughs> well, that was a good play by Lakeland right there, staying with that ball. 21-16, 40 seconds to go. There's Evans trying to go base. Cut off. She's going to kick it out to Morris. Kevich. Round side. Oh, Cleveland down with the rebound. No foul. As Take the what, and let it catch ball. I tell you, uh, it's really nice having Cleveland down there. We have not had a big girl down in front like that in a long time. Yeah. This is going to be a different basketball team because of it. Yep. All right, she's out of dribbles. Okay. <laughs> Go right. ahead, Buzz. Go ahead, Buzz. <laughs> and that'll be the end of the half. 21. 21 to 16, 16 there, my man. <laughs> Rod has to write down and can't talk at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I know. Was I, was I stumbling? No, you kind of 22. Right, 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 right. 16. <laughs> <laughs> my brain don't work that fast. 21 to 16 and a half for the Lady Cats. And we'll see you folks right after the second half. Well, there you go. It's 20, 30 seconds to go before the game starts the second half. My man Rod, he's doing something. He's wandering this way. That's what he does. But 21 to 16, the Lady Cats doing pretty good so far. <laughs> Madeline, or so Madeline Morse. Mercury Morse. She's doing a great job today. Two three-pointers for us. Oh, I'm sorry, Rod. Can't let you in here again. There you go. You got it now. There you go. There uh, you go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you see you? Can you hear you? Oh, I can. Can oh. I see you? Yeah, I can <laughs> see you. <laughs> ready for the second half. We're ready to go. There we go. I was just doing research. Oh. That's what I call that. Research. Yeah. Huh? I sent Char over to say hello. Oh, I got my hug. Char Murphy, Jessica, and yep. Jessica Murphy's mom, who just. She's gonna, she said she's going to try most of the games to watch us. She's one of our best fans. Sky Donaldson's here, cheering on her team. Sky graduated last year as well. Good defense here. Here we oh, go. Somebody's down. That uh, would be um, Kate Winter is uh, down. Andrew and McDonald's checking on her. Oh, Grace Wysocki's in the house, too. Oh, was Wasaki yeah. here too? Oh, yeah. there you so go. How about that? See, girls, once you're on this team, you're on this you're team, team forever. That's and exactly you come right. Back and you, and that's the thing. When you make the team, it's more than just a team. It's it's a family. Exactly and this family right. Family is still together, and they're supporting the new, the new regime coming up. Right there, you go. <laughs> and that's the program, Coach Emmert has put together. They're doing pretty good so far. I don't know what league this uh, Lakeland is. I don't think it's as big as our. No, I know our we're going to have a tough time against the uh, Clarkston's yeah, and the big Lake boys. Yeah, but uh, we uh, we're going to be all right. We got a good skipper, and these girls are going to get the the experience. They're going to get the competition. Yep, and they're going to get yelled at. Right, and they're going to learn this game. Uh, she's going to get up now, we think. Maybe that one leg is not going to... Oh, there we go. She's got a brace on it anyhow. That's probably what her problem is. And we'll fix her up. Oh, 
Yeah, she's got. You know, that's a hard job. You know, you you have to kind of diagnose whether to let that kid play if the injury is a a real bad one. You know, you got to be pretty sharp to yep. do Angie's job. Look out down below, open Cleveland honor. Defense is transitioning real nice. I, I love the beginning of the game and at the end of the halftime because the teams tend to be coached yep. and, and, and playing fundamental. Right. Look out, pass a little too hot for yep. right to handle. Remember, that's not Madeline Morris's true position. She's used to the, the ball getting dished to her. She's used to uh, uh, Dinges Whoa, air ball. feeding her the ball, and now she has to play Dinges' position. Monet's good rebounding. Good job, girl. Yeah, Monet's doing good, I'll tell you what. Lots of juniors on this team. This is one of them right here, Grace Cleveland. You betcha. And one freshman. Doing a good job tonight. Ooh. Morris Big for three. Big little out there. <laughs> and coming up with it is Lakeville. You are watching girls varsity basketball here at Oxford. This is the first home game. And we are glad to bring it to you. There we go, Way Cleveland, another rebound. Way to go, good job. She's getting scrappy down there, isn't she? Right, kicking it back out. See now, the girls that are just come up from JV are gonna, they're gonna have to adapt to the speed yeah. of, of varsity, and they will off the high glass, and that will be out of bounds. Should Went be Lake Lakeville ball. Unfortunately, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Clark coming in. Then I leave Abigail take a bench. If Abigail's in trouble, coach is talking to her before the halftime. He was balled out a little bit. <laughs> re, re coaching, let's say. Remember that game last year that Clark tore it up shooting? Remember that? Which one? That Clark. I remember that phenomenal game. She had a oh, lot of good yes. games, but that one phenomenal game she had last year. Clark coming down with the rebound. See, I like talking about the girls. Every time I talk about them, they start doing good things. That's right. <laughs> I keep Clark talking. Is, yeah, I'm going to keep talking. I'm <laughs> trying to talk about them all. Get the mojo working. There you go. Out to Morris. We need some points here, guys. Down the horn, looking for some holes, looking for mistakes to Caitlin Wright. Oh, traveling oh, there. Oh, they're going to get Ooh. Caitlin to travel. Caitlin. And she's not going to look up because... Mr. Emmert is not happy with those kind of turnovers. Mm -hmm. A little piece of that. There you go. It's long two. Short. Be off. Lakeland coming up with that rebound. And a sea of white. Rebound. Oh. And that one will drop. 21-18 to Lady Cats. We need to get up some points here, girls. We are still looking for our first point. Yeah, for the of second the quarter. Half. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we don't carry the tradition to third quarters. And to Cleveland. Finding right. Wow. She's fouled. All right, Caitlin, go to the line. Two shots. Okay, one's got two points so far this evening. My 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 stats are unofficial, of course. <laughs> That's our first point for the second half. Twenty-two to eighteen, Lady Cats. A 
What's tomorrow? Wednesday? Yeah. Yep. Sure is. All day. <laughs> All right, it. she will split the pair. Got a foul. Jump ball called. Nope. Number five. High blue. For uh, Castleton. Got the foul from Lakeland. It's 22 18. Still, Lady Cats. And kick it out to Evans. Why Morris is strong, and she? Oh, she is. Look at this long three. Oh, right on the Off rim. Off the heel, almost got the rebound on that. <laughs> Morris rebound down the with the catch. rebound. Two, that mm -hmm. would be Molly. Molly Steck. Steck. Morris did a double take. She says, I'm number 32. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't realize they have a number 32, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I lied. I did the double take. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Whoops. I I see Madeline in the morning at the at because I, I have a layover at the high school, so right. I see her in the morning. She sometimes sits down with my daughter and stuff, but she's uh, really mature. She's a real quiet young lady. Mercury? Yeah, Mercury. <laughs> but man, she, she is quiet. She's a quiet until very, on the court or in the softball. And when she goes to school, she's dressed up real nice, looks real pretty, and yep. man, she gets on the court and she <laughs> is a warrior. Yeah, I think she has about 87 sisters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they got a brood. <laughs> get a bunch of, yeah. Yep. Her mom was here earlier when she came in. No, mom and dad are great. Oh, yeah. They are great. Great couple. And mom is like zinger at everything. Oh, we got Man, you there. get a foul on Madeline. that. Who are they going to give it to? Uh, Madeline. Shoot. It's your third one? Yes, it is. <coughs> That's right. We only got two minutes and forty seconds to go in the third period. Twenty-two to eighteen, Lady Cats. Yeah, here comes Connor Bandell, shot put coach. Our state championship oh, shot. Yeah, put oh, go. here we go. Travel turnover. And our soccer goalie, mm -hmm. Colin. He is the state champion in shot and disc. And he's going to Florida. He's going to Florida. Going to Florida. Full Big scholarship. time Florida. You're darn right. This young man, full scholarship. He's going for the state record this spring. You betcha. And we're going to cover it, aren't we, Bill? You betcha. Can't miss it. I don't know if we can cover the state meet, but we'll cover him. Well, here, yeah. There you go. Abby drawing contact. There you go, two of them. My Abigail. And that's what the older girls that have been playing the high level know how to do. They know how to drive the hole and draw the foul. That's what Gabby did. Well, I think she's grown quite a bit. Uh, Abby? Hasn't, it, hasn't she? Uh, a little bit taller, yeah. Yeah. Madeline one looks taller. How about that? Quiet in the gym. Shh. Boom. Oh, missed it. 23 to 18, Lady Cats. A minute, 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. Uh oh. Oh, wow. No, oh, uh, I thought that was a little of a travel, perhaps. Yeah. That's a three-point. Drop that one in. That makes it a little close. 23 to 21. And for the Lakeville. 
Minute like JV to go. is coming on in the, in the third. Yep. We need to pick up this third. How about that? Big foul. Evans. Feeding Evans on the inside. Monet quickly going up with that ball like you should when you're inside there to draw that foul. All right, Monet. Whoa. There we go. We needed that. 24-21, Lake, Lake Lady Cats. <laughs> Got it. Get them both. That a girl. Monet Evans. 25 to 21, Lady Cats. A minute 12 to go. And that's five points this evening for Monet. She was a big scorer on JV last year. Her and Morris. Oh. A fresh. Uh oh, Madeline's fourth. That's her fourth foul. Take. That's not good. Steve is not happy with that. Yeah, that he's uh, explaining himself to the referee. And the assistant coach, or JV coach, slowed him down a little bit. And he's going to have to take her out of yeah, the game. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm going to put in Olivia Clark for Madeline. Ah, that's our gunner. That's going to hurt. Well, if we remember last year, she did run into some foul trouble yeah. during yeah. during the games last year as well. But, the, you know, she plays so intensely. Oh, she does. That's a big miss. Missing both. Ooh. And dropping it in. 25-23, Lady Cats. There's only 50 seconds to go. This is a position that is tough, the, the point guard position. We are still looking for that super ball handler that we can get. They're trying for the last shot for the third quarter. Yeah, Abigail. No foul. Yeah, and there she you draw go. the foul. <laughs> <laughs> Good foul. <laughs> Abigail. She gets so excited, doesn't she? Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Just a two-point lead for Oxford. Oh, missed it. That's rare. Let's make this one a good one, kiddo. Missed them both. Wow. On the line. Both and Lakeland's line. Step over the line on the shot. It wouldn't have been good if she did make it. Good defense. Stepping out line. of bounds. Olivia Clark and Monet Evans forcing that turnover. Good job, girls. Madeline's back in. 15 seconds left here in the third. Now Madeline don't get any foul this time. Or Falling down to about seven sec six seconds. And when I get to uh, And that'll be the end. Coach of is the still third upset. quarter. <laughs> well just Coach, Coach Everett is really upset about the referees right now. Well just four points that, that quarter. Yep. And uh yes, and he's he's got problems with with the ref. Foul problems right now with Madeline Morris. What does he do? Does he put her back in? She did, yep. 25 to 23, only eight minutes to go. Well, Lakeland took that quarter. We were up 21-16 at the half. My stats, man. That's I'd right. right, my stats, man. <laughs> I have to get your computer. Why? I don't know. 
I don't know how to use it anyways. That's right. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I got paper pencil. There you go. A little dubs. You got all the worn out little pencils you got. Yep, I know me, that. Me draw a line on paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we come. The fourth quarter. 25 to 23. Lady Cats. I'll tell you what, we got to pick up this momentum here. Yeah, we get a good go. And he has got Morris back on the bench. We got Wright. Clark is at the point guard. Abigail, Evans, and Cleland down below. So just like the team looks different without Madeline. It just. It doesn't feel like. Looking for something to happen here. Steve wants her to, he's telling her, hold on. Waiting for Lakeville to make a mistake. Yep. He's, he does this kind of stuff. I love it. They're thinking about it. Yep. Monet Evans. Oh. Kate, Caitlin Wright almost came down with that. You know, we've been watching Caitlin Wright play ball for a while. She's a better traveling. basketball player. There you go, traveling. Yep, that's defense throwing that in. Caitlin has definitely improved her game. She looks good out there. Madeline's back in. So Wright, Evans, Morris, Kevich, and Cleland. That's our crew. That's right, that's our crew. Getting in to Morris on the inside to Cleland. Oh! She had a good look. Yeah. Kind of flat-footed on the shot. Oh, you can't double double. Oh, how double about dribble. that? And how about Clark just getting in the way, not drawing a foul? <clears throat> Forcing that turnover. They say Clark, I meant Bukiewicz. So 552 in the fourth. Uh -oh. oh, lost one there. Watch out, Abigail. Double traveling. Oh, I thought it was. Well, I, my bad. I thought he was traveling. Obviously, oh. I was wrong. Rare that I make an error. <laughs> Forcing the jump, Cleland. <laughs> Olivia Clark's going to come in for Morris. Yep. Madeline's back on the bench. And I know. <laughs> With four fouls, they got to bring Morris in. Up. Oh. out. Bukiewicz getting a piece of that. Boy, they're scrambling for the ball, that's for sure. Good job. I'll tell you what, these girls look better. We saw them play last year. They look better already. There, you got a foul. It'll be good for her. Monique's going to go to the line, I hope. Nope, not going to the line. Oh, yeah, she is. Good. There you go. Hey, right, Monet, Monet, we need a couple of points here, girl. <laughs> and Madeline's back on the bench. <laughs> now they got to watch her with those four balls. Exactly, bottles. exactly. 
Clark in for the Merck. I think she wants to play offensive with Madeline. Ah. Lakeland down with the rebound. Well, Lady Cats are doing a good job in defense right now. Monet How about get it. that? You'll get it. That a girl. So calm down, Miss girl. Evans comes up big on that one. Steve wants them to slow it down. Yep, Comp says, calm down, girls. Calm down. Here like we that. go. Rights underneath. Oh, oh no! No foul called either. Oh. <laughs> Caitlin Wright had a good oh, look. My. Four minutes and 18 seconds to go. Uh-oh. Foul. Oh, they're going to get Grace on that one. Yep. I Two shots. It, I believe that's her first foul. Uh-oh. 25-23. Four minutes and 15 seconds to go. One point lead. Madeline's back in because she'll be on for offense. Tie game. And that will tie the game up. Has been Oxford the whole game. To, oh, big foul there. Hot pass in the Bukevich who's breaking hard to the net. Abigail to the line. Maybe get two here. Olivia's back in. Happy Madeline back with. on the line for defense. There you go. That's what the coach is doing. Yeah. He's smart. Oh, yeah. Abby has uh, got eight points so far unofficially today. Four minutes and five seconds to go. Got one. There we go. Come on, Abigail, we'll get another one here. That's a quiet of the gym. Got it! Got them both. 27-25, Lady Cats with four minutes and five seconds to go. And we have a press. Big press. Whoa! Traveling. Madeline back in. That's what good defense does. Holla, holla, ho! Thank you. I'm trying to help it. <laughs> I'm trying to help them. Stop a little bit. Let's let Madeline get in here. <laughs> See, he needs more there to uh, run the plays. Yep, exactly. Three minutes and 35 seconds to go. Two-point lead. We need some more points. Never get enough of those. No. Getting it to Evans. Oh, she thought about it. Wisely waiting. I notice Evans has matured so much this year. She is. Caitlin had a look. Steve slowing that game down. Time out, Oxford. 30 Just second break. Time. Two minutes and 57 seconds to go. 27 to 25, Lady Cats. Wow. A nailed butter for the first one, first, season, first game of the season for us. I think we're going to have like eight games or nine games for the girls and the boys. Oh, okay. And hopefully that many hockey. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
You know, I've seen, the, you know, we watch these girls and so many of these girls on JV and I've seen what a year makes. Yes. It really, I see so much improvement in these girls already. And this is just the beginning of the season. That's right. It was true. It's a year. But wait to the end of the season. You're going to see huge, huge leaps and bounces. And most of these girls are back next year. He's, he's still calming down the coach with the assistant coach trying to help him calm down. He, he's not happy with the referees at all. No, he's not happy today. No, he's got, Madeline's got four fouls and he's not, he's not happy. No. Come on, bring somebody out. There you go. Look at how strong she is. Ooh. Good job, Madeline. Losing the ball, getting it right back. Two, two minutes, 30 seconds to go. Uh-oh. Foul number five. Yep, that would be Lauren Castleton. Oh, we're going to the line. We are going to the line with Abby. Oh, we're going to Abigail. Cool. <laughs> Who is hot now. Yes. Got both for shots. About 10 points so far tonight. Yeah, we need a couple points, girl. There's one. There you yeah, go. Yeah, we needed that. One more, girl. Morris back on the bench. Clark in for the defensive Right. Roll at that guard position. Livia's good. Got it. Yeah, got them both. 29 to 25. Lady Cats with two minutes and 22 seconds to go. That was huge. That was huge. Very huge. Whoa. Get that rebound, no. Bukevich getting a piece of that, knocking that out. Less than two minutes to no go. Good. And a scramble. Scramble for the ball, jump should ball. be a jump. Thank you, jump ball goes to the Lady Cat. Yes. With a minute, 51 left. Morris back now in. Now we're cooking. Time out to Lakeland. Man. Lakeland coach is going to Figure out what's going on. <laughs> Varsity coach Mike Head for oh. Lakeland. There you go. Minute and 51 seconds, 29 to 21, or 25, Lady Cats. Abigail was the one that brought those four points, brought it back up. Yes, she did. Yes, it has been, Abby. And those are the only four points we have of Fourth quarter. The, the fourth quarter. Yeah. And we only had four in the third quarter. 21 total in the first. Yeah. 21 16 at halftime. Then only four points in the fourth, third quarter. And four points so far here in the fourth. All right. <clears throat> so Morris Wright, Evans, Caitlin Bukevich, and the ball. Cleland. That's the crew. Look out, Bukevich. Ooh. Oh, Cleland was open wide below. There we go, Grace Cut. There you go, 31-26, 25, I mean, 31-25. With a minute 39 to go. Timeout goes to Lakeland. Those are first two points for Cleveland, Cleveland tonight, but very important points. You betcha. What I liked about Bukevich is that she didn't pass to her right away. She waited. That defender came to her, yep. opened Grace up, and she was able to lay that one in. Perfect. Very nicely. Good job by Abigail to draw the coverage. 
I always, I always talked about Ava Go when she was just a freshman. She's such a frail looking little girl. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't just play that way. She just <laughs> clobbers you. <laughs> she never played that way. Oh, my she goodness. She's always tough. Yep. And Janie. Janie graduated this uh, Yes, she did. That's spring. right. Yep. And uh, we wish our best to Janie. Janie, she was a good basketball player. She was a good nice girl. Nice kid. We've had some oh, good she's ones. She's a young lady right now. She's not a kid anymore. That's right. But we watched her grow up, too. And uh, big smile going, Abigail. That a girl. I think they're over there in that Waterstone sub along with the Morrises are over there. Yeah. Something about the Waterstone and basketball, huh? Yeah. Look oh, out. Oh, look at three. Three-pointer. Holy wow. smack. That's a three-point lead now with Lady Cats with a minute 33 to go. Time out to Oxford. So what have you done, he says. I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's nail exactly biter. exactly what Lakeland needed right now to stay in this game. Exactly. And right away, Coach Emmert yep. takes yep. a timeout. I got to believe he's going to leave Morris on the floor this time. Uh, yep. yep. Well, you got to play an offense. Right, Morris, Bukevich, Evans, and Cleland. Full press from Lakeland. Uh-oh. Good job. Oh, she had Cleland open on the side. But she does draw the foul. Going to the line, Monet. Monet will go to the line. I'll tell you what. Ooh, Monet, that scared me. Monet, Monet drove the coverage, and she she actually got Grace open. Didn't see it, though. She could have been in for another easy. Missed the first one. With a minute 29 to go. Eight points so far this evening for Monet. I think uh, Madeline's going to stay in as defense. Eden still at the field. Need this one, kiddo. Missed it. Missed them both. Look out. Just a three-point lead here with a minute, ten seconds left in this game. Here we go. Three-point attempt. It's off. The Ready can't ball. ball. With a minute and seven seconds to go, 31 to 28, Lady Kids. Lady Cats. <laughs> Same personnel as before. Look out, got it to Evans again. Good job. Tell you what, right, that's a gutsy pass. Less than a minute. The big foul. That's uh, you know? Mary Zimmerman. And put Abigail to the line. I think if if there's anybody they don't want to foul, it's it's Abby. Oh, right that's now. for sure. She has made. Boom. That'll that'll nail it. Twenty eight to thirty two. Boom! That a girl. Boy, she got a bunch of points tonight. How much you got for Abigail? How about 14 points for Abigail Bukevich tonight. <laughs> there you go. Six of them, the last six of them have been from the line. Yeah. That was huge. And almost a turnover. Oh. 30 seconds left. Here we go. Ball up off the and hill. Rebound, Monet. Monet. That a girl foul, and it will go to to. Is that jump? <laughs> oh, they're gonna get Abby on that. Nope. Well, maybe it is. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, they got Abby on that foul. I thought he was gonna go jump ball. I was hoping. Look Twenty-five. Out, that was their shooter. 
Don't give her a look. Don't give her a look. That's right. Don't let her see it. As she drives to the hole. Monet's Monet got Evans again. again with another Boy. big rebound. You got to get that ball out of there, though, kiddo. <laughs> look out. Morris is going to need some help. That's right. Four, three. Missed it. Another one. Game's over. There we go. There you go. 38. Wow. 33 to 28. Lady Cats. Woo. Oh, wow. Another nail biter. For it the first was. game of the first game of the season for 2015-16 with the Lady Cats varsity team. Nicely, nicely done. What do you got up for stats in there, my dude, Rob? Well, we got about eight points for Morris today. Uh, 14 for Bukevich. Good job today. Let's see what Monet got. A bunch. Yeah, Monet did. Monet? She got like eight points also and a, tonight. About 100 rebounds. And and a lot of rebounds. Good play from a lot of the girls. I like Grace Cleland. Oh, yeah. Yep. I really liked her down below, pulling down some rebounds. Olivia Clark did a good job defensively. Right. Uh, Caitlin Wright, man, she's getting better. Did good, she yeah. She is getting better. Good. She's a good athlete, and she played well today. There you go. So, 33 to 28, Lake Oxford Lady Cats. Once again, Rod Wright, Bill Service. Dan Swise and Elgin and Russell, we thanks very much. We'll see you games in the next game. <laughs>